Knock this in. 31 pickup right here. Smart, smart. Don't think about our offense. Guard for me, all right? Here we go. One, two, three. Inside Notre Dame basketball with Mike Bray is brought to you by Team Notre Dame members Adidas, Gatorade, McDonald's, Coca-Cola, Sprint, and Xerox. Inside Notre Dame basketball is also sponsored by Bank of America, Xfinity from Comcast, Mazda, Meyer, Notre Dame Federal Credit Union, Sirius XM Satellite Radio, and UPS. Hello again Irish fans and welcome to this week's edition of Inside Notre Dame Basketball. I'm Jack Nolan. He of course is the head coach of the Fighting Irish, Mike Bray. And coach, three more wins so far this week. That runs your winning streak to nine games. You know, we're on a pretty good run, Jack. We're trying to wrap up our non-conference schedule and then take a break for Christmas. And your kids also did pretty well during exam week. They did. Uh, you know, we got it done exam week wise. It's an intense time for our guys, but I thought they came out of that and really played well and we practiced well during exam week. Now this week of games began with Notre Dame's first regular season meeting with Purdue since 1966. We'll take you to this year's Crossroad Classic in Indianapolis right after this timeout. Our best offer of the year is ending soon. Call now so you don't miss out. Get Xfinity TV for $10 a month for 12 months. Enjoy local programming and the top network channels. Don't wait. This offer ends December 31st. Call 1-800-XFINITY today and get Xfinity TV starting at $10 a month for 12 months. Or ask about our other TV packages and get access to Xfinity On Demand, HD, and HBO and Showtime. Make tomorrow awesome and switch today. Don't wait. This offer ends December 31st. Call 1-800-XFINITY now. All of my days. And I've been trying to find unlimited phone, unlimited data, unlimited life. The Galaxy S3 Unlimited Edition with truly unlimited data from Sprint. He is suffering from flu-like symptoms. We had to help him into the locker room. It may be a believer, not in luck or faith, you can see how exhausted Michael Jordan but in the will to win. You win from within. Classic performance by Michael Jordan. Can I just change that for you? Window or aisle? Uh, right. Yes, sir? Excuse me. Right. Can I help you? Yeah. It's, 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 the restroom? Oh, it's right behind you. What? You just turn right there. <laughs> Virgin America knows it's better for Xerox to manage their call centers so they can focus on making flying cool again. With Xerox, you're ready for real business. I know the first game after exam week is always concerning for a coach, even more so when you're playing a major program like Purdue. Yeah, the way this crossroads is set up, you know, we're going to play right after exams just about every year. I worry about that, but we were really ready to play. I was uh, impressed with our preparation. We had good practices starting Wednesday of exam week. I thought we had a really good practice on Friday and we were very ready to play and we got off to a good start. Good hands defensively. That's a great play by Pat Connaughton just to get that ball back. We're coming up here in early offense, a ball screen for Eric Atkins, and Eric just makes a great decision, and Scott Martin knocking a jumper down against his old team. I know he felt good about that. He gives a little shot fake. He keeps the game simple. He got us off to a very good start, and we were in a pretty good groove offensively. Pretty good, and I'll tell you the other thing Scott Martin did. He rebounded for us, Jack. He had eight rebounds in the game. We were concerned about their offensive rebounding. I'm not sure he wanted to bank that, but it went in and we'll take it, and Cameron certainly has shot it well for us. We go zone, and it, we get some turnovers out of zone, and we get off in transition. How about this catch by Garrick Sherman? One dribble and finish. For a big guy to do that is very, very difficult, but we got out in transition, and that was really good for us. How about Eric Atkins with that decision? Garrick with a nice finish. 
Atkins continues to just carve people up. Nice kick out. Pat Connaughton kind of turns the corner, and this is the thing that he's giving us, Jack, lately, driving the basketball and finishing around the bucket. Just not a three-point shooter. A turnover here, but how about Jaron's move right here? Steps up, gets a hand on it, and that's a heck of a turnaround. You think you're going to give up a layup and transition on that end? We get one back on this end. That's kind of a veteran play. Our band, our cheerleaders made it down there. Out of bounds situation, and what we talked about earlier, Connaughton slicing to the bucket uh, and scoring on drives. Jack really challenges that. Heck of a play here. This is, this is just a basketball IQ group. Boom, boom, right back. Unselfishness and a big three-point shot by Pat. This group can pass the ball. Watch this post feed away from the defense. Garrett, he does a great job of sealing him high and finishing that right there. And again, he's given us great stuff. Real find here. Purdue's making a little run on us, and that kind of quiets it. Jaron with a great find to Pat, and we knock down that three-point shot. Feeding the post. Great hands by Jack Cooley. It's hard to get the ball from him if he gets his mitts on it. And really a very good win for us down there. You know, it was good for us to bounce back. We didn't win last year in Indy. It was good to get a win in the crossroads. Now the final stats there show the Irish shot 73% from the free throw line. That was a key as well. And as you mentioned, Pat Connaughton really helped the Irish cause with his usual stellar defensive effort, plus a season high 16 points and three assists on offense. Well, the, the one thing we were, we really made free throws down the stretch. You know, they were fouling us, pressuring us, and it was great to see us step up and just knock them down. Five Irish players scored in double figures against Purdue, and Notre Dame held Purdue to just 41% shooting from the floor, a performance that earned a nod of approval from graduate student and captain Scott Martin. You know, it was, it was good. We, we came in and executed our game plan. Uh, did what we want to do, force them into some tough shots, and, and we're able to come out of the W. They only had two points in the second half for quite a while, and we were really proud of how we played on defense. And, uh, and we just played as a team and rebounded really well. We're, we play as a team. I mean, not one person is going to try to do the whole thing. We want everybody to kind of contribute. And Coach Bray's been talking about balanced scoring, balanced rebounding, balanced everything, and that's what we brought to the table. It's good habits going in. we got three games this week. Uh, they're big games, and they're big to get us ready. It catapult us into the Big East season. And I think all of those little sound bites there emphasize when your team plays as a team, you're hard to beat. The great thing about our team, they know they need each other. And they know when they're playing together, they're really hard to beat. It's a beautiful chemistry, especially with those starters. And they've taught the other guys what it means to play together. And that shiner on the face of Pat Connaughton due to an errant elbow in practice from Jack Cooley. Just an accident. Now, after beating Purdue, the Irish returned home with just one day to prepare for a Monday night meeting with IPFW. All the highlights are coming up right after this timeout. It's, uh, it's three Mendes. <laughs> three Mendes. Three Mendes. Say hello to McDonald's new three Mendes. CBO. Smooth cheddar, crispy bacon, grilled onions on the Angus Third Pounder or premium chicken sandwiches. CBO. The simple joy of three Mendes. Yeah. Turn your signature into a new Mazda. During Mazda's Zero to Drive event, lease select 2013 Mazdas for zero down, zero security deposit, zero first month's payment, and zero do it signing. It's our best deal of the season, but it's only for a limited time. During Mazda's Zero to Drive event, lease a 2013 Mazda 3 ISV for $219 a month for 39 months. At Meyer, you'll be surprised to find the brands on your gift list at low Meyer prices. That means Kelly can save money and deliver an extra special Christmas morning surprise. 
Experience the joy of giving this holiday with the biggest brands at low Meyer prices. Experience the savings. Experience the difference. Meyer. Now, Coach, you have four Saturday-Monday turnarounds in Big East Conference play, so this past weekend Saturday-Monday turnaround was a great simulation of what you're going to face throughout the year. You're right, Jack. We really tried to talk about that and how do we turn it around from a Saturday, no matter what happens, and, and get ready to play again. And, and, and I thought we were, you know, just okay at that. And quite frankly, I was a little disappointed. I thought we'd have a little more juice. Uh, here early, we drive and pitch to Scott Martin, who knocks down a three. He's shooting the ball so well. This is what Pat Connaughton has been giving us lately, driving the basketball, getting in there. Uh, we look for some ball reversal right here. Great read. They help on Jack. We make the extra pass. Eric Atkins knocks down a big one right there. Here, Pat Connaughton also has become a better passer. And that guy's making shots right now. He feels good about his three-point shot. And, and that's just, just a yet another weapon for us. Good movement here. We come back and feed the post. Jack seals that guy high, and we're able to feed the post. I've really been pleased with how we're feeding the post and feeding our big guys. Pretty good traffic right there. Our guys rotate and help, and we get off in a little bit of early offense. Throw ahead, quick post feed. Really good by Cam to recognize that. That's an area where he's improved, and Garrick with a nice finish. Pat on a curl and a finish at the bucket. You know, I think one of the reasons he's become so much more potent, he's moving without it. Nice pass here by Garrett, kicks it out, and, and Scott knocks down a three-point shot, feeling good about his jump shot. Really good. Great hands by Eric Atkins, and we get off in some transition here. Throw ahead to Pat. He kicks it back up top, and a real good find. Just That was just a nice tempo. We didn't force the break, but it was kind of early offense before IPFW was ready. Scott Martin with a drive and pitch, low in the shot clock. Pat knocks down a three-point shot. I think he's shooting better from the three-point line because he's driving it some. How about this guy? Just rebounding the ball with one hand. The best offensive rebounder in college basketball. Nice pass by Pat. We get doubled here. Just nice and calm. We don't panic. And Pat gets in there for a runner in the lane. Something in the paint for him, which has really helped our offense. Tom Knight with a screen and roll. How about that pass by our point guard? The decision-making by Eric Atkins has been quite simply fabulous lately. Now the Irish shot 52% in the game. The fifth time this season your team has shot 50% or better in the game. And Pat Connaughton turned in another outstanding performance with a season high 18 points, five assists, and six rebounds. Now, if we gave out a Player of the Week award, he certainly would be a leading candidate. I would vote for Pat Connaughton. There's no question right now. I'm excited about the all-round basketball player he's become. He's guarding the best guy on the perimeter on the other end and he's driving the basketball and handling the basketball, finding his teammates. Big improvement by him. And that was an adjustment because you have to put that much effort in on the defensive end. Sometimes offense suffered. It did early in the season, but no more. When I use the term man or being men or playing like men, I don't throw that around loosely. Quite simply, Pat Connaughton has been a man the last month. The Irish played their third game in five days on Wednesday night when former Irish assistant coach Lewis Preston brought his Kennesaw State Owls to Purcell Pavilion. We'll take a look at that contest and how Coach Bray honored his former staff member before the game when inside Notre Dame basketball returns. Now, the Kennesaw State game marks the first time you've ever coached against a head coach who used to be an assistant for you. How hard was that? You know, it, it wasn't hard. It was sentimental because it made me think a lot about Lewis Preston the last couple days. He's a good friend. He did a fabulous job for me here in his six years. Mentored guys like uh, Harold Swanigan, who's on my staff, Ryan Humphrey, Troy Murphy. Uh, he's a special guy. We're still good friends. We share ideas a lot. And, and, uh, and I really was impressed with his basketball team. They defended us. We turned the ball over. It was hard to score against them. Jack with a nice put back there for the first bucket. Eric Atkins with a drive and finish. And again, Atkins just really seeing the floor. And he goes 13 assists the other night against them. Scott Martin hunting his three-point shot. It's been good to us. He's confident in it, throwing ahead in transition. 
Connaughton spotting up and knocking it down. I thought we got some good stuff in transition when we threw it ahead. Here we go again, kind of early offense. Eric surveying the floor. You can watch him kind of just evaluate things. I like when Jaron just catches and shoots in those situations. Ball screening situation for Jaron always gives us something. And how about Zach August with Scott Martin's foul trouble comes in and really gives us good minutes. 12 points, seven rebounds in 12 minutes running the floor. This is what Zach does as well as any big guy we have. And Eric finds him for a finish. Again, nice energy off the bench by Zach August. Good hands by Jaron. Eric Atkins here. This looks like a triple jump layup right there. He gets his feet tangled, but knocks down the free throw anyways. Good challenge by Garrick. Short, Jack with a hand on it, and here we go in transition. We throw ahead to Garrick. Eric Atkins with one of his 13 assists. Here he goes again. You know, something good's gonna happen. Something good's gonna happen. Makes the right decision again. Cameron steps up and knocks it down. We need him to be a shot maker for us. Scott Martin trailing the play. Jaron finds him. We knock it down. 21 assists on the game. We're in our zone and Eric anticipates. How about this decision? I'm gonna wait and we get the guy filling and Pat with a real big time finish in transition, but our point guard really surveyed it. Pat Crowley with a strong drive. He does that in practice against the starters. And uh, I was, Lou's team played well. They defended what was hard for us to pull away from them. Uh, we did in the second half a little bit. Um, but it was good seeing him, and I'm very, very proud of Lewis Preston. The final stats show us Notre Dame posted season highs in field goal and free throw percentage, plus against Scott Martin. Hit a couple of threes to reach the 1,000-point plateau for his career, 728 of those points coming for Notre Dame. Anytime you score 1,000 points in a college career, you are one heck of a college basketball player. Proud of him, happy for him, but you know what Scott Martin wants to do? Just win. This week's Ask Coach Bray question and Zach August's turn in the fast break hot seat are coming up right after this timeout. We love seeing you at Bank of America. But we know you want to be able to bank wherever you are. Bank of America Mobile Banking lets you bank on your schedule. Now you can securely deposit checks you get right away with your smartphone camera. Watch this. It doesn't get more convenient than that. See? Success. It's amazing. Check balances, pay bills. And much, much more. Right here. Bank on your schedule and deposit checks on the go. Download the Bank of America mobile banking app today. I need to get back to work. Three, two, one. It's hard to call it radio when it's this out of the box. Listen to that. <laughs> Man, you know just what to say. You might be a redneck. <laughs> Fox News alert on several dramatic new developments. Frank Sinatra. You're a delightful audience. Let's go to Margaritaville. To the 10, to the 5. Touchdown. This is Satellite Radio. Welcome to Sirius XM. It is time now for this week's CBTS Ask Coach Bray question. This week's question comes to us from Daniel Lauk via Twitter. Daniel asks, Coach, what makes your team so successful at home? Great question, Daniel. I think it, it starts with, it's evolved into being a tradition. You know, young guys now are growing up in our program knowing we're good at home. We're confident at home. Our crowd, our six man really helps us. We shoot it well at home. Uh, but now it's a little bit of a belief of we can't lose at home and it's a great mentality to have. And how important is that expectation, going out every night expecting to win? No, that, just that mentality that, that you hear our guys talk, nobody gets us in our building. To build a program, you got to take care of home court first, and we have that well solidified. Folks, if you would like to ask Coach Bray a question, all you have to do is log on to UND.com and click on Ask Coach Bray in the rotating boxes in the center of the main page. 6'10 freshman forward Zach August had the best game of his young career against Kennesaw State, scoring 12 points and pulling down seven rebounds, both career highs. That performance earned him a spot on our inside Notre Dame basketball fast break hot seat. Favorite all time movie? Friday. First car you ever drove? Hacker Integra. What did you do on your first day? Went to the movies. Do you have a celebrity crush? Alicia Keys. Favorite part of practice? Playing. Worst part of practice? Running. Best part of your game? Running for Part of your game you need to work on. Slowing down. Player on the team most like you. Cam. 
Favorite player from any sport? Jack and Whiskey. Player on the team most likely to be on the cell phone the longest? Can. Toughest player to guard? Eric. Best leaper on the team? Pat Connaughton. Best dunker on the team? Pat Connaughton. Best dresser on the team? Me. Best singer on the team? Me. Best comedian on the team? Gary Sherman. Worst dresser on the team? Tom Knight. Free throw contest, who wins, you or Coach Bray? Me. Confident there. Confident, and you know what? The other night he started sticking his free throws a little more uh, confidently. So uh, something to build on. This young man has such a bright future for us this season and certainly then down the road. He has tremendous poise for a freshman on and off the court. Really, and you know what? He's always upbeat. There's good energy coming off him every day. I love being around him. A look at the start of the Big East season is coming up right after this timeout on Inside Notre Dame Basketball. Well, if it isn't Mr. Margin. Mr. Margin? Oh, don't be modest, Bob. You found a better way to pack a bowling ball. That was UPS. Well, who called UPS? You did, Bob. I just asked the question. It takes a long time to pack a bowling ball. The last guy pitched more ball packers. But you? You consulted UPS. You found a better way? That's logistics. That's margin. Find out what else UPS knows. I'll do that. You're on a roll. That's funny. I wasn't being funny, Bob. I know. I definitely feel like there's a family feeling. They all know my name. You're working with somebody who has your best interest at heart. Pretty much like a brother and sister would take care of their siblings. You go down to the same branch, you see the same people, you get to know people. They're just more human. People are looking to take care of you and not just use you. I don't know that a bank would have gone to bat for us. I'm one of their first customers ever and I'm one of the happiest. Uh, I'm a member. Notre Dame Federal Credit Union. Come home. I feel very safe with Notre Dame Federal Credit Union. Now we are taping this show before Notre Dame's final non-conference game with Niagara, but we'll have all the highlights of that game on our next show. Now after the Niagara game, Coach, you have the longest break away from basketball games I can ever remember here at Notre Dame. Yeah, we do have a nice gap, and of course our Big East season doesn't start till January 5th. We have a bye week the first week out, but I think it's important for our guys to get away and get home at Christmas. It's the only break they get. Uh, but when they come back, little do they know, we're going to go into Big East training camp mode and to get ready for that January 5-7 start uh, to the Big East season. And you've played a couple of intense stretches of basketball in your non-conference part of the season. Is it good for them to get away just to rest and heal up a bit? Because they're banged up a bit. Yeah, I think it's good to get away, to, to just rest. Uh, I tell them no pickup games. I don't want anybody getting hurt at home at Christmas. Uh, keep their cardio up, shoot some, but it, it's good. This is a long season, and we've had a lot already. I think we need to really get rested and refresh so uh, we're ready to go once Big East season starts. And then you open with a Saturday-Monday turnaround home game with Seton Hall. This is the first of our Saturday Mondays to, you know, you always like opening up 1-0 in Big East play. And any Big East win, and then you got to turn around and go to Cincinnati, a ranked team. They may be in the top 10 by the time we pull in there. And that's going to be, I think, a pretty good night for Irish sports. Truly a big Monday. <laughs> that is a very big Monday. <laughs> we will have the highlights of the Niagara, Seton Hall, and Cincinnati games on our next edition of Inside Notre Dame Basketball. Until then, from all of us who work on this show, happy holidays and go Irish. Inside Notre Dame Basketball with Mike Bray has been brought to you by Team Notre Dame members Adidas, Gatorade, McDonald's, Coca-Cola, Sprint, and Xerox. Inside Notre Dame Basketball is also sponsored by Bank of America, Xfinity from Comcast, Mazda, Meyer. Notre Dame Federal Credit Union, Sirius XM Satellite Radio, and UPS.